I have four things you can do to get more streams on Spotify. Let's go. What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music licensing, music business, and music production. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you know exactly when that content drops. You don't want to miss out on these gems that I'll be dropping over the next couple weeks. Anyways, let's dig into how you can get your streams up on Spotify if you're releasing music, singles, albums, beats, instrumentals, whatever. Whatever kind of music you're releasing, I'm going to give you four things you can do to drive more traffic to that music so let's talk about the first one consistently release music like I know it sounds cliche that like consistency is key but like it literally is so consistently release music if you want details and some things that can help you do that check out one of my previous videos where I talk about you know how often you should release music and, and some music release strategies to help you moving forward to stay consistent and, and stay in front of new fans and followers number two is reach out to playlist curators on Spotify so there's a ton of playlists on Spotify, right? And your goal is to get on them and get on um, as many quality playlists as possible that are, you know, that have music that's similar to yours. That way when people are coming to a playlist to listen to certain music or certain vibes or styles or genres, your music can be in the mix and then new people can discover your music through those playlists. A great resource to kind of find some of those playlists and reach out and submit to some of those playlists is a site called soundplate.com so check it out I use soundplate and I know I even have a playlist that people can submit to for trap and R&B instrumentals or trap R&B instrumentals uh, it's kind of it's kind of like a combination of both but anyway soundplate is a great resource for that tons of playlists to submit to and uh, you get your music on playlists and then you get those streams from your music being on different playlists and then even if you didn't necessarily submit to a playlist sometimes other curators will you know they'll be going through another playlist and decide they may want to add your song to their playlist on their own so it's a great opportunity to get in front of new people and get those streams up number three create your own playlist like you don't have to wait for somebody else to have a playlist for you to get your music on there create your own playlist so this is what i did right i created my own playlist that you know it's pretty much the kind of music that i make and the kind of music that i had on my beat store which the music on the beat store was the music i would upload through distro kid and have um, just different styles of music but then i would take other people's music especially from um, dope producers who probably have way more streams than i do and then i put them in my playlist as well and what i've seen is more streams right that's the goal so now that i have a playlist that has some some dope producers in it as well as myself and people are coming to that playlist to listen to that that style of music now i also have other producers who are listening to the playlist and then want to be a part of it as well so then i include new producers on my playlist so i think it's a great way to kind of put yourself out there as well in a different way not always being the person to ask to be on the playlist but be the person to put other people on your playlist and as a result the music that you have included in your playlist as well will will get will pick up more streams too and the one thing I will advise is like I mean you can kind of do it how you want but I didn't put like all of my tracks on just my playlist right like I you know every fifth track or something like that would be from another artist right because you know you want to have a good variety of music and and attract you know different people because of, of different producers and and artists being on your playlist so yes Start your own playlist. What are you waiting for? You can also do that through soundplate.com as well. So super dope. The fourth thing you can do to get more streams is share your music on social media. Listen, a lot of people spend a lot of their time on social media. So you have to get in front of those people. They're there hanging out already. So now you have to find dope and creative ways to get your music in front of those people share it with people you got facebook you got instagram you got TikTok, you got youtube use all these platforms to share your music to share your links so that people can click on it and listen to it and get your streams up if you use distro kid who by the way is the sponsor of this video thank you distro kid you have free social media promotion tools at your disposal 
Tools like Promo Card and Mini Video makes it super easy to create eye-catching graphics for you to share on your social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, or what have you. It looks super dope and you can generate them easily and automatically. Like it takes no time. Like you click a button, you select a track, boom, graphics created. With everyone sharing music on social media, including the people who spam the DMs, stop doing that. You have to find a way to stand out. And I feel like DistroKid makes it easy to do that. So shout out to everybody using DistroKid. Your life is just made easier. If you're not with DistroKid, I highly encourage you to sign up. There's a VIP link in the description. Make sure you click on that and save some money off your yearly subscription to upload an unlimited amount of music. Like it doesn't get any better than that. Question of the day, which one of these methods are you gonna use to get your streams up? One, two, three, four, all of them? I don't know, but let me know. I wanna know in the comments section below and hopefully this video was helpful. If you did find it helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.